Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week number 11 of the PGBL. This is going to be our final week. We are up against Shadow Link. He's going to be taking over for the Don Fanatic. And uh, it's it's a pretty interesting week. I don't really know what I'm doing with my team. Uh, this is by far the most ridiculous build I've built all season long. But you know what? At the end of the day, I think I like this team. I think, it, I think we can still pick up this win. Okay, here we go. We see the Kiram. Hang on. Let me take a screenshot before anything happens you see the kiram hippowdon chestnut salazzle greninja and mesprit so no haunch crow i was kind of concerned about haunch crow uh no mega mawile which is kind of nuts no porygon too no lycanroc as well wow a lot of things that i was pretty concerned about so okay this is a very interesting team a very very interesting team Part of me thinks that he just leads off with a Powdon for Stealth Rock's lead. It honestly makes me want to lead off with the either Electros or the Tapu Fini. I feel like Fini's the optimal lead here. Mesper could also be Rock's lead, but I don't. You have the Powdon right there. I feel like it's got to be Fini. I'm gonna lead off with the Fini here. But yeah, my team is nuts. I don't know what in the world my team's gonna do. Um, basically, everything's bulky and uh, everything can deal a lot of damage. Um, but in all honesty, my, my team has to be pretty darn bulky to be able to take on his team. So actually, okay, so my Shaman was max defensive in order to take on the specifically in order to take on the um the mega mawile so it's going to have an interesting matchup here it can still take on the hippowdon and it, it's going to be important to air slash up against the chestnut but it has an interesting matchup all around regardless okay so i i do have a calm mind available to me if he swaps in a Salazzle, maybe. He could go for the Gunk Shot, which would be pretty scary. But I am reasonably defensive. I don't want to lose my removal too, too early, but I feel like I just clicked Moonblast. Getting any type of free damage on his team would be pretty important for the longer run, I feel like. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we see the Salazzle cut. No, Salazzle might be too risky. I maybe does it just to come in on the... um on the moon blast that you can assume is coming unless he really thinks i'm about to predict greninja is his only potential z move user goes into the mess break i should be doing a an okay amount here we do just go for the moon blast um but we are here and we can potentially get up calm minds up against this thing i can't be toxic at least for a few couple turns a few couple turns but uh for right now yeah i feel like i'm just content getting off a calm mind we do outspeed this mesprit so this mesprit is probably max special defense especially goes for the light screen okay okay is he trying to set up i don't think he can really set up on me too too well I'm gonna calm mind again. Do I calm mind again? I might calm mind again. It's probably likely too. I'm gonna click calm mind again. I'm curious. No, he just he just withdraws. I was curious if he starts to set up a reflect, but does just go into the key room. He can hit me with a um fusion bolt. But I'm, I'm at neutral, basically. And... I mean... Uh, I'm gonna do something. Kieran Black. Uninvested Kieran Black, Moonblast still does over half. That's gotta be my play. Goes for the Fusion Bolt. We should take a Fusion Bolt. Okay. Um, we take it pretty darn well. Pretty, pretty darn well. 
and we can get the Moonblast off. It does more than enough damage. Uh, he definitely can't take us out with another with another Fusion Bolt. And I have to click Moonblast. If we can neutralize this thing, even if we give up our Tapu Fini this early, um, giving it up for the Kiram is pretty big. Oh man, that was a high roll. That was pretty scary, actually. <laughs> that was pretty scary, actually. Also, uh, I know it hasn't affected anything yet, but I should turn this on just in case. That's a very decent trade-off for this early in the game, and it looks like his team is reasonably slow. The only real switch he would want to bring in now would be the Salazzle. I don't know if I would want to keep the Feeny right now. Um, I could give up the Feeny. But I do have to keep in mind that the Mesprit is slow. Oh, I just realized I could have defogged against the Mesprit. Which would have gotten rid of the... Would have gotten rid of the uh, light screen, I believe. Regardless, Lazo comes in. I do have the super obvious Metagross switch in. He could call that and try to click Fire Blast. But here's the thing, right? He has a pretty slow team, right? So I can still defog against the Hippowdon if it comes in. I can still defog against the Chestnut and the Mesprit in case I have to defog later, and I don't feel like I should give up my removal this early. I feel like just going into my Electros would be the best play here. Uh, yeah. Electros is, has to be the play here. I don't know at all how well Electros is going to be able to take a hit, but... I should be fine. He does go for the Sludge Wave, which is really interesting because I did have the pretty obvious uh, switch into the Metagross there. That's really interesting. Uh, and I don't know whether or not he would want to stay in. Clearly, clearly I can take hits. And let me just see on the bottom screen what his light screen counters like. Three turns left of light screen. Wait, how do you spell Slazzle? Slazzle, there you go. Uh, let's see here. That actually looks right on line with a max special attack Slazzle. He could realize that he can't do too much to me. I, he might switch. This could be an opportunity to U-turn here. Because of a potential Thunderbolt, maybe, but... I feel like the play would be to U-turn here. I feel like the play might be to U-turn here. I might be able to U-turn out into Muck. I might be able to U-turn out into Muck. I also don't want my Electros to be taking all this damage for absolutely no reason. I feel like you might switch. I'm gonna click U-turn. Goes for a sub here. Ooh, that's not great. That's actually pretty bad. I should have just clicked Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, actually, um, regardless of, of light screen, could have taken out that sub. That's genuinely not great. But I can just go into Muck here. It's a black sludge, uh, Salazzle. I can click knockoff here. Goes for the flamethrower. We are reasonably specially defensive. I really don't want to get burned though. Please don't burn me, bro. Uh, okay. I should break the sub. I do want to bring up my muck into my calcs. Knockoff should be doing, um... Actually, knockoff. Yeah, knockoff should be doing a whole lot of damage. Yeah, because you're black sludge and you're not. Yeah, regardless, the play has to be to knockoff here. If you withdraw, yeah, getting a goes into a pout on. That's fine. I feel like that's totally, totally fine. 
We can knock off an item off of this Hippowdon, and we can very, very freely go into Shaman now. It's Rocky Helmet, that's interesting. Or I could collect Toxic here. He sets up rocks. He definitely sets up rocks here. Oh wait, but if he sets up rocks, then does that stop my Feeny from coming in? My Feeny has 13 HP. We don't live around rocks. So I won't be able to remove rocks later in the game if he sets them up now. How much should I care about that? Does he double? Regardless, if he sets up rocks, right? If he sets up rocks, then Sandstorm's gonna pop my Figgy Berry. Or no, I, I believe I have an Aya Papa Berry. Uh, it's gonna pop the Aya Papa the eye pop of here and i can get a toxic off right now i think that has to be the optimal play right now we do that speed we get the toxic off if he goes for the earthquake that would be pretty darn unfortunate yeah it's pretty bad if he goes for earthquake but i feel like yeah he has to set up rocks here he has to has to has to set up rocks here and now my op my eye papa berry jump pops jesus christ that's difficult for me to get out and now i can freely switch into Oh, I'm Poison Touch. <laughs> I made my muck Poison Touch. I'm definitely Poison Touch, aren't I? Yeah, there it is. I'm Poison Touch. Okay. Okay. I see. Regardless, regardless, the play has to be to go into my Shaman now. Um, get, going into my Shaman is actually going to allow me to set up a Tailwind right now. Goes for the double. Does he go into Salazzle? That would be really bad. Goes into Mesper. That's interesting. Because I don't think he has a move to really hit me hard. And I think he's just going to try to set up screens right now. And what this lets me do is just hit him with Seed Flare and potentially get the special... Uh, the special defense drop. Although, hmm. If he makes an aggressive switch into the Greninja or the Salazzle, then that would be bad. So maybe I should Tailwind now? I'm going to click Tailwind. I'm going to click Tailwind. That way... Yeah, that way he can't take advantage of light screen with his Salazzle as much. No, I should have just hit. I should have just attacked. I was I was afraid. In honesty, I was afraid of the aggressive switch potentially into the uh, into the Salazzle. The aggressive double switch, I should say. But I should just click Seed Flare. He does stay in. I get the Seed Flare off. That does almost nothing, but also gets up the Reflect. This is... This is... Not ideal. Uh, let me think here. If he goes into Salazzle, I do have the Earth Power. I feel like he has to go into Salazzle, but... We do have another turn of Tailwind, is that right? We have another two turns of Tailwind. So if he attempts to go into the Salazzle, then even through the uh, light screen, I believe... Yeah, yeah, okay. If he goes into Chestnut, I have Air Slash. Uh, if he goes into Salazzle, I have Earth Power. If he goes into Greninja, I have Seed Flare. Yeah. Uh, uh, for right now, I just have to click Seed Flare, but I do have to... It does go for the Withdraw. I feel like we have to see this Lazo come in. Goes into the Chestnut. Okay. That's very interesting. If we do get a special defense drop, that would be pretty nuts, but it is a 40% chance, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we don't get any drops. Chestnut. If it is a defensive Chestnut... Physically defensive Chestnut. Air Slash... So does quite a bit. So, uh, uh, Air Slash does look like it misses out on being a 2 KO through the Reflect. 
but regardless, it's it has to be the button that I click right now. Oof. That has to be... Could that be, like, especially defensive chestnut? Tailwind does peter out. Tailwind does peter out. Does this mean anything for me? Um... I feel like... Let me see. He has a lot of turns of... With that light clay, he's, he's gonna have a lot of turns of... Screens for me to break through. I don't know what he does to me. He could toxic me, but I can switch out and pop natural cure. And I do have the metagross in the back. I'm gonna click air slash again. Does he drain punch me? Is that a crit? No, that was just... Oh, poison jab. I was not thinking about poison jab. It's totally my B, but we are... Okay. We are a max defense Shaman. The Shaman was meant to take on the... Uh, this could be a synthesis chestnut as well. That just crossed my mind as well. I don't want to stay in on this thing anymore. And... I'm going to go into the muck. I'm going to go into the muck. I can't believe I made this muck. Uh, poison jet, poison touch. I'm so upset with myself. Drain punch. Just take it. Nope, we don't take it. It's fine. It'll be fine. So what does that mean that we can do? We can go into the Metagross and set up rocks right now. That's super unfortunate because it honestly gives up my best answer to... to, um... to Mesprit. I really wanted to get a... a hit off on that Mesprit. A knockoff off specifically. But also it's my best general switch into it. Um Okay. Now Now we have just about worn down this light screen. And on an earthquake, I can definitely go into my shaman that's not going to be poisoned, unless he makes a god play and calls this with a poison jab right now. Regardless, this is the sequence of, sequence of switches that I had to make. It goes for the drain punch, which is not great. That's really bad. Um, see, the thing is, I really, I really have to go for a tailwind to protect against the potential salazzle switch in. Salazzle. I could be, like, literally choking right now with all these switches because he's calling me decently well, and... I feel like he has to go into Salazzle right now. I'm gonna click Air Slash. He stays in. He stays in. He takes it okay. Poison Jab's gonna take us out. I feel like that's fine. I feel like that's fine. So, what moves have we seen? We've seen... Poison Jab, Drain Punch, Earthquake. I don't know what the final move is. Could it be time to start going in with... With Necrozma? Could it be time to start going in with Necrozma? Um... Actually, let me see something. So it's a specially defensive chestnut, right?
It's especially defensive chestnut. We can definitely establish that. Can Electros... Can Electros just take you out with a U-turn here? Oh, that's dubious. I can hit this Chestnut with a Flamethrower. Yeah, Flamethrower does, does enough from Chestnut. I really don't need this... This, uh this Electros too too much so I feel like this is going to allow me to to preserve my Necrozma just a little bit longer that does more than I would have expected but we should still take you out we should by every indication still take you out all right that was pretty unfortunate. I'm literally, like, choking right now. This game away. This... Uh, goes for the wood hammer. Maybe he was expecting me to switch or something? I don't know. I don't quite know. Oh, so that's the full moveset. He takes himself out. Okay. That's interesting. It's going to be a double down. It's going to be a double down situation. Um, my Metagross is actually pretty useless right now. Like, genuinely really useless. Hmm. Necrozma potentially wins this match. Actually, let me see something. Necrozma against Greninja. Greninja is really the only thing holding um, Necrozma back. Actually, no. He's going to go into Mesper and try to set up screens again. What I should do is go into Necrozma and start setting up Calm Minds immediately. And even though it's going to essentially put me at neutral with special attack, um, those special defense reads are going to help me against the Necrozma match against the Greninja matchup and. I could potentially moonlight up on those on those dark pulses as long as I don't get crit or not critted. Um. No. Yes. Uh, as long as I don't get. As long as I don't get flinched, goes in the have howd on, which is really interesting. If the Hepaton has Toxic, then this could be pretty much the match here. Regardless, I have one play. I have one play, and it's to set up Calm Minds. If he Toxics me right now, then... Yeah, okay. So we have to work quite a bit faster than I would have expected, but... It's still not impossible. It's still not impossible. I just click Photon Geyser right now. I have to start claiming KOs. My Necrozma is on a timer right now, which is super unfortunate. Uh, Greninja potentially comes in here. That would be bad. I should have gone into... into Metagross. I just thought he wouldn't go into Hip Houdon. I don't, I don't see a reason to go into Hip Houdon. I don't. And even and even after I got it, I went into Necrozma, I should have doubled into the, into the Metagross. That could have saved me as well. I think he's trying to figure out if Greninja takes me out, and I don't think it does. Goes into the Mesprit.
Um. My play has to be to click Power Gem and hope that after, even through Light Screen, after um, the Rocks damage and the and the Sandstorm damage, I can still take it out. No, wow. Yeah, I, I genuinely choked the game away. I, I made so many misplays early on. I made so many misplays early on. I don't even know if it's worth moonlighting up right now. Part of me just wants to go into the Metagross right now. I'm gonna go into Metagross. Go just doubles out. We see the Greninja, which is really interesting. Um, I don't think we should expect a KO here. Uh, no, definitely not. Uh, anywhere near it, in fact, but... If he does anything crazy... The play has to be to click Power Punch. He, he Dark Pulses me, yeah. This is... Yeah, he wins. He won the game. Uh, the best that I could do right now would be... We don't take a hit. That's gonna be the match. He definitely, definitely just Dark Pulses uh, to win the game there. And uh, Tapu Pini goes down to the Dox damage. That's gonna be the match. Uh, what a way to lose. I really... Mm, I think I made some bad switches. I made some aggressive switches, but they just weren't good switches. And uh, that definitely, definitely 100% cost me the match. 100%. And I, I felt like those were switches that I had to make. Um, I felt like I had a really good early game. And uh, those switches, I felt like I had to make them. And they definitely cost me the game. 100% cost me the game.